Hi guys and girls, Miss Vaselli here with your next math flip lesson of the week. Today we're talking about determining the correct unit to use when you're measuring. Will you use an inch? Will you use a kilometer? Will you use a fluid ounce if you're measuring liquid? Um, today you're going to find out how you can best um, determine what is the most efficient unit of measurement to use as you're measuring things in our world. Let's get started. So our guiding question of today is how do you know which unit to use when you're measuring? In this lesson, you will learn how to determine which unit to use when measuring by using a benchmark object. Let's review. You have learned that each system of measurement contains more than one unit with which to measure. The different units allow us to measure things of many different sizes, and it helps to make our measurements more precise or exact. You have learned that there are four basic units in the customary system of length. You've also learned that a mile is the largest unit and is equivalent to 1,760 yards or 5,280 feet. A yard is smaller than a mile <clears throat> and is equivalent to 3 feet or 36 inches. A foot is smaller than a yard and is equivalent to 12 inches. And the smallest unit is the inch when we're measuring length. So what would be the best unit to use to measure the length of this kitchen table? Miles, yards, feet, or inches? In order to answer that question, you must have a clear picture in your mind of the size of each of these units. A benchmark is an object you can use as a guide to help you determine what unit to use when measuring. So if you take a look over here, a mile, we can think of that as 760 yards, 5,280 feet, but that's a little bit hard to visualize. So if you're thinking of a mile, think of four laps around a football field. That's a little bit easier for us to kind of visualize and think about what a mile would be. A yard is about the length of a baseball bat. Instead of visualizing it as three feet or 36 inches, Visualizing the length of a baseball bat is easier than visualizing either of those two measurements. Feet, 12 inches. You are familiar with what a ruler is, so that is our benchmark object for that. And an inch could be a small paper clip. Um, instead of just thinking about, hmm, I wonder what an inch is like, just think of a small paper clip. So with these benchmark objects in mind, we can determine which one is the best to use to measure the table. So obviously we wouldn't be using a mile to measure a kitchen table. Um, we could maybe, depending on the length of our um, table, use a yardstick. But really, I think um, the feet, the 12 inch ruler, is probably the best way to measure a table like this. So one mile is equal to four laps around a football field. So let's just visualize what that means. Since the football field itself is much larger than the table, it wouldn't make sense to use the mile unit to measure that table. Since one yard is about the same size as a baseball bat, this baseball bat is smaller than the table, so we could use yards to measure its length. A ruler is exactly one foot, and the ruler is smaller than the table, so we could also use the foot unit to measure the table. And a paper clip is about one inch long, so we could also measure the table in inches, even though it would take us a very long time. So, we could use yards, feet, or inches to measure the length of this table. Which unit you choose depends on your purpose for measuring. If you want only an estimate, you can measure in larger units. As you can see, this table is less than three yards. That would be a good estimate. If we measured the table in feet, it measures just a little more than seven feet. That would be a good estimate too. But if you want a precise measurement, you would need to measure in the smallest unit that fits the object you're measuring. If we zoom in on the eighth ruler, we can see that the end of the table actually lines up with the three inch mark on the ruler. So 
So if we add 12 inches for each of the seven rulers plus three inches on the eighth ruler, we find out that the table is exactly 87 inches long. That is a precise measurement. Measuring with a unit too large or too small is a common misunderstanding that students make. For example, measuring the distance to a neighboring city in feet. The distance between cities is quite large, so it would make sense to measure the distance in a large unit, like miles, instead of feet. In this lesson, you have learned how to determine the correct unit to use when measuring by using a benchmark object. Let's take a climate check. After watching this video, how do you feel?